in the American dream. I have a dream that one day this nation will rise up, live out the true meaning of its creed. We hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created equal. I have a dream that one day on the Red Hills of Georgia, sons of former slaves and the sons of former slave owners will be able to sit down together at the table of brotherhood. I have a dream that one day, even the state of Mississippi, a state sweltering with the heat of injustice, sweltering with the heat of oppression, will be transformed into an oasis of freedom and justice. I have a dream that my four little children will one day live in a nation where they will not be judged by the color of their skin, but by the content of their character. I have a dream. is taking the first step when we cannot see the full staircase. Drive out hate. Only love.
Get it, y'all. Get it, y'all. Yeah! One Pacific, we have a dream. I'll say it again. Darkness cannot drive out darkness. Only light can do that. And hate Remember, faith is taking the first step when we cannot see the full staircase. Injustice anywhere is a threat to justice everywhere. There comes a time when silence is betrayal. We must live together as brothers or die together as fools. Yourself. I wrote a letter just to better my soul. If I don't discuss it, then forever I hold this side.
phone sign but we out of control. Rap music in the hood, play the family role. My story like yours, y'all got to be told. Time to make it from a basic to a godly role. Red scrolls and stone slaves and Jewish people and cocaine. Jake has the color of age, slip the page. Now my race became freedom, right dreams in the dark. They fought, but I can see them. I believe in heaven more than hell. Blessings more than jail. When you get a let love prevail. With a story to tell, my eyes see the glory and well. The world waiting for me to get out. racial background um, that the civil rights most identify with. Um, I worry about misappropriating King's legacy. So what I'm going to do is I can talk about my own experiences. I have always needed my faith in Jesus Christ to do two things. One, speak to my deepest pains from my story. And two, have the capacity to speak to the conditions of the world I see. If my faith in Jesus Christ cannot do these things, I struggle with it deeply. I discovered Dr. King's writings and sermons after college as an adult on my own intellectual and spiritual levels. I engage King regularly as a reference for my life of faith. And here's why I do it. Most often, at the most difficult moments of my faith journey, in the days and weeks and seasons of my life, when my faith doesn't work for me, when God seems distant, when I don't connect, when I begin to doubt on some pretty deep levels. This is what I do. I stop reading my Bible. I stop trying to pray. I stop talking about my faith with others. And I pull out CDs and I listen to sermons from the Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. And day after day after day I do this until I am ready to re-engage. 
I listen to the drum major instinct on a life of service. I listen to why I'm against the war in Vietnam on America's place in the world. I listen to I've been at the mountaintop on an ultimate moment of our lives. I read the letter from Birmingham jail that's written to ministers. Hmm. And when I'm in, in my spirit, when I'm in the wrong places, these words and the spirit of these words, they challenge and they heal me. They get me to a place where I'm able to re-engage God, re-engage my world, re-engage my life, re-engage y'all. I need faith in Jesus Christ to pose the greatest critiques. I need my faith to have action, to address the greatest ills of my age and move us towards justice. I need my faith to challenge me over being silent. So once a year, on this federal holiday, I connect with King. I'm reminded about the potential of faith in Jesus Christ to impact the world. So I connect with King on these days. I stop to remember, I stop to contemplate, I stop to hope that the messages of King can live in my life and live in my world. And that way, I'm deeply grateful for what faith in Jesus Christ and Dr. King has meant to our world and means to my life. Alrighty, hey guys, um, as we finish up today, I was asked to sing a song for you guys, and I just hope that you guys reflect on the words and um, find what it means to you. Oh
Thanks. <laughs>